have a 94% success rate at achieving real lasting weight loss. I wanted to show you the sort of stuff that we cover on our intro coaching call. I use powerful aids with our patients like semaglutide or zepatide and powerful peptides that mobilize body fat and make it easier for us to get into deep lifestyle interventions. Lasting weight loss is insanely challenging to accomplish. As you can see in the study right here, about 85 to 90% of people that have ever strived for weight loss after three years or more have regained the majority of their weight back. You listening to this right now, tell me in the comments if you can, if you feel that pain with, with your inability to ever achieve some sort of lasting weight loss. Trust me when I say this, I've helped over thousands of people achieve lasting weight loss, both on the medications, on the peptides, completely off with supplements. We've tried it all. And currently right now we have a powerful success rate because there's so much confidence right now with people utilizing some of glutide or zepatide, but they're coming to us for a more sustainable and holistic approach. So if you were ever curious, what kind of stuff we cover, what does it look like before that first coaching call? You're not gonna wanna miss this, this video. <laughs> Hey there, this is Dr. Jones DC and I wanted to thank you for agreeing to let us help you with the flow protocol. Hopefully what helped inspire you to make this decision, if you didn't talk to me yet, was the videos and the content that I make uh, every day for my TikTok page and some of the webinars that I made in terms of helping to educate people like, this is my life's work, this is my passion. I've lived this, I've worked with patients and now I'm at a point where I have what I truthfully believe to my core is the most effective, sustainable weight loss program. So I can't thank you enough for taking that leap. I know it's a big investment and I promise you we're gonna do our best to get you not only to that fitness goal and that weight loss and health goal, but ensure that you're able to keep it off for the rest of your life, guys. So I can't thank you so much. And whichever one of my health coaches that you are working with, rest assured that you are working with somebody who knows how to get you there. And of course, if if you ever have any issues at all with your program, please don't hesitate to call the clinic and ask to speak with me and let me know if there's any concerns or any issues, but I promise you and assure you you're in good hands. Okay, so let's dive right into the first coaching call. So you probably were already instructed to review the welcome to form and all the private videos and you're listening to the first, actually probably the second one because you already listened to the recording how does the coaching work? And so here is your actual first coaching call video. So let's dive right in. And a lot of this is gonna be in writing in the protocol as well, but I want you guys to digest this information as well as you can. This video is gonna be an expansion of what we put in writing on that form. So. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta assess whether you are in a metabolic plateau. So I have a video on that entitled The Metabolic Plateau. So please uh, pause this and watch that video and really ask yourself if you think that you are in a weight loss plateau. Many people can figure that out from watching that video. Also too, what I put in writing, the two big points, the two things that would tell us right away is if you lost weight at some point in the recent history of time and you are plateaued, right? You started eating less and exercising more and your weight loss started and stopped and you've kind of been hanging out there for a couple weeks or a couple months out of fear of regaining, or you just don't even realize that you've been eating such a low amount for so long, there is a certain amount of calories that most people should be burning at rest. And so if you're eating less than 1500 as a woman, average age, say 180 pounds, you're gonna adjust this accordingly. But if you're eating less than 1500 with no activity or less than 1800 with a reasonable or a lot of activity, you're probably in a plateau. And you gotta understand, like we talk about in our video, this isn't like black and white, plateau or not. There is down regulation of the metabolism that happens over time. And the greater the plateau, the greater the down regulation. For us to get effective weight loss, especially if you're coming to us in a plateau or some amount, or maybe a little bit, we gotta get that metabolism revving again. So taking advantage of this opportunity to go ahead and do the reset program 
wouldn't be a bad idea unless we can say for certain that you're not in a plateau, then we can go ahead and start the weight loss program. So figure that out and let your coach know on that first call because the instructions for how to reverse it are in the video as well, the metabolic plateau video, and you'll be able to work with your coach if you have any questions. Okay, so continue on if you are past that point and either have already watched it or you're not in that plateau. So we want you to start, and, and real quick before we actually dive in, after the metabolic plateau part, understand that what we're about to go over are the strongest formats, meaning if you were to ask your coach, what is the quickest way, what is the best strategies that I can do to be the most successful, here are the things. But there is not one way, as you understand in the flow protocol, the path towards being able to live the flow lifestyle. There isn't one path. There's, there's side routes, there's, there's a, a scenic routes, there's a straight path <laughs> you know, with more resistance, there's a scenic route with less resistance. My point is, is I love that analogy by the way, but my point is, is that we can tailor this towards you because my definition of the most sustainable weight loss program is the least amount of effort. And so you might have particulars about your lifestyle or how you feel to where these best approaches cause you stress. And if anything that we're recommending causes you stress, this is why you have a coach so that we can adapt it to minimize that stress for you so that you can be the most successful. So I want you to have that in the back of your mind while we go ahead and move forward explaining what you should do if you have no issues to get the best results. So number one, we're gonna start with the intermittent fasting and a ketogenic diet. And so you can pause this video and go on to the other videos that I have called the ketogenic diet and the fasting. You gotta understand a lot about fasting and a lot about a healthy ketogenic diet. So now that you've watched those videos, you understand how to approach that, right? So essentially intermittent fasting, restrict your window to about a 16, eight. If you wanna be more aggressive and you think that's doable, you can even go to a six hour window instead of an eight hour window or a nine hour window. Any amount of improvement is gonna be good for the starting point. And then you're gonna go on the ketogenic diet. Again, don't have to go hardcore keto, but the more keto you go, the better for that initial response. What we're trying to accomplish in your body now is some initial metabolic flexibility. Okay, great. Now we need to talk workouts. And so we're going to be burning enough calories from our fasting that burning calories no longer needs to be the primary focus from our workouts, which I know is crazy because the most effective workouts for burning calories usually are the ones that are the high intensity circuit style CrossFit that incorporate both resistance training and high calorie burning. But those workouts actually come at the cost of less muscle stimulation. I'll be in point, bodybuilders are not utilizing CrossFit to build maximal muscle. <laughs> now I know you're not trying to be a bodybuilder, but we are trying to protect our muscle mass to the best of our ability. And what a bodybuilder does, how they work out as opposed to CrossFit is the best type of workout in order to protect muscle mass. You're not gonna build big giant muscles like bodybuilders because you're not in a caloric surplus, but we wanna protect our muscles to the best of our ability. And as long as you have no issues, I want you to work out in a format just like a bodybuilder. And so here's my caveat. If you have no experience at all with the, with the gym or working out at all, spend a couple hundred bucks, find a local gym, find a personal trainer, find the manager who's going to be able to then so you can ask the manager, look, I'm working with a doctor. They want us to, uh, they want me to do some resistance training. I have no experience. I can't afford to be working with a trainer because that's their goal guys is to sell you more training. And sometimes they do it in a format that the education comes to you. Uh, I don't want to say sneaky, but comes to you in a way where you feel like you need them. Just make it very clear. What's your rate for five sessions? I'll afford that. I can't do more. I'll be upfront with you. Please put me with the trainer that you think can help me. And this is important. You want to talk to the manager, the training manager, because he knows his trainers better. And if you have injuries, you want to work with a trainer who understands injuries. And so the two goals of working with the trainer is to understand what it feels like to stimulate the muscles properly for again, muscle building or muscle protection. And number two, how to be comfortable around the machines, especially working around your injuries, guys. That's what I want you to accomplish with the personal trainer. If you already feel like you have enough comfort in the gym, you have enough experience, 
There is so many videos online about different styles of workouts. We do not need to overcomplicate it. It really doesn't have to be that complicated, especially with the flow protocol because of how aggressive we are uh, fasting, guys. And so protect the muscles. Uh, the ideal would be about three times a week. If you could do four or five, even better. But really all we are asking you to do is three times a week, stimulate the muscles. Now, if you're an overachiever, it's great. And you have the time and desire to do more, HIIT training would be the most potent form of cardio to do after your weight training or on the other days. So pause this video and go to my train and go to my video called high intensity interval training so that you can learn more about what I believe to be based off research, the most aggressive format and the most effective format of high intensity interval training. Okay, great. The least important workout that I want you to understand is cardio, aerobic cardio. I'm not saying cardio is bad. And if you want to add a little bit of that too as well, but you really don't need it unless we're talking about walking during your fasting days and walking on your non-lifting days, guys. Okay, great. So we got the workouts done. Now let's talk about supplements. It never ceases to amaze me how many patients don't even take basic core supplements for optimal health. So these supplements that we're about to recommend here are essential not even for necessarily weight loss, but they're essential for health and they're essential for life. And, you know, we can go on and on for, for in different videos. Uh, that's not the point of this video. Here's our top supplements for you to achieve optimal health, which is going to correlate to better weight loss with the body. We need you to be on a multivitamin or greens product. I currently use Athletic Greens myself. It is pricey, but a greens product is going to be more comprehensive than a multivitamin, but a multivitamin as well. And by the way, guys, we're gonna send you a link where you can order our favorite brands of these types of products. So we got a multi-greens product. We need to be on fish oil, guys. You probably have heard fish oil, fish oil, fish oil. If you are burping when you take fish oil, that, that's not your body's individual reaction. That actually happens to a lot of people. But what they don't know is it happens because they are taking a inferior low quality product. It has gone rancid and their body is reacting to it. In most cases, when you take a high quality product, and I've ran this experiment so many times with patients who take the Kirkland brand, for example, from Costco, and they try a higher quality brand and all of a sudden they stop burping it, right? So run that experiment for yourself, guys, but you gotta be on fish oil. You wanna take a dose somewhere about two to three grams a day because you want one to two grams a day of EPA DHA. EPA slash DHA, are usually on the label of your fish oil. It'll say, you know, for example, one gram per serving of fish oil, and then it'll say 150 of EPA and maybe 250 of DHA. So you add those two together, uh, you want about two grams, one to two grams of the EPA DHA. So it usually takes about two to three grams of fish oil a day. And so you wanna split that dose, the multivitamin once a day in the morning, the fish oil you wanna take AM and you wanna take PM. Moving on, we have vitamin D and magnesium. Look. Vitamin D and magnesium are probably, and they are, in my opinion, the most potent, most important vitamins uh, aside from, you know, B vitamins and of course electrolytes during the fasting, which we're going to talk about next because you've got to have electrolytes during your fast. But vitamin D and magnesium are so important for so many different processes in the body, and the research just continues to keep pouring out about how important they are. So you want to get about 5,000 IU's of vitamin D a day in the morning. And then with magnesium, we like to do about 150 or 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate in the morning, followed by about a same amount, give or take, of magnesium threonate before bed. We need a little bit of extra magnesium due to the potential constipation that might happen from the GLP-1 medications. Plus guys, tell me that you don't sleep better when you start magnesium three and eight. Magnesium three and eight is the new flashy version of magnesium. It's so small that it actually passes the blood brain barrier, unlike magnesium glycinate. And you've heard how amazing magnesium glycinate is. And so we utilize that to help you sleep just as much as we do because it also is additional magnesium support that we need on this program. Okay, electrolytes. Now, standardly, I would not say electrolytes are the most important thing, but they are the most important thing for the flow protocol because you can, in rare situations, have some potentially big problems like heart arrhythmias if you have a strong enough electrolyte imbalance, especially to a predisposed heart issue. So, uh, 
AKA do not skip out on the electrolytes. So we work with full scripts. That link we're gonna send you to all the supplements does not include the electrolyte recommendation. On the welcome to form, there's a link to Amazon to be able to purchase uh, the electrolytes that we recommend from Dr. Berg. You can take electrolytes every day. Uh, the key is sugar-free, broad spectrum electrolytes, and we, we prefer Dr. Berg over every other brand. So make sure you order that too as well. Okay, so these are the core supplements we're gonna ask every patient on our program to get on. The next ones are gonna be optional and can be discussed with your health coach on your first call, which is gonna be done after you watch this video. So if you have excess inflammation, which we could probably argue everybody does, especially if you have autoimmune disease, then it's probably a good idea to take some curcumin and some resveratrol. And so let your coach know we can include that in the recommendation too, but curcumin on its own has so much literature to support how freaking amazing it is. It's not essential for health, like fish oil guys. Fish oil and vitamin D, you would die at a certain point without consumption of. You would technically never die without the consumption of curcumin, although with how detrimental and overly inflamed everybody it is, you could probably make that argument. But technically it doesn't make the category of essential by that definition, but curcumin and resveratrol together have a very synergistic effect and can be very, very powerful. Now, if you feel like you have a lot of stress, then you know stress is related to cortisol and cortisol can uh, impede your weight loss efforts. And so you got to figure out how to manage your stress, guys. There are so many forms of managing your stress. The, the, the biggest one is tackling the life issue that's causing your stress. Identify that and figure out a solution to that. Don't just keep brushing it off. You just made this investment. And so see if there's some way that you can tackle your stress head on. Great if you can. And if it's one of those stressors that you can't and it's chronic and it's all the time, then let's see what we can do to support the body. So adaptogenic herbs, we have a, a product that contains a broad spectrum of our favorite adaptogenic herbs. And so we can recommend that to you as well. And this is something that I don't think you should take for life, but absolutely, especially if you've never taken adaptogenic herbs and you do think you have some extra stress, you're gonna wanna get on this product to help mitigate the uh, potential counter effects of those stress-related hormones, cortisol specifically, that can impede your weight loss. And then of course, sleep. Uh, we have a whole separate video of sleep, uh, but basically there's gonna be some core supplements that we're gonna recommend. If you have sleep issues, my definition of optimal sleep is six hours, at least six hours of undisturbed sleep. So if you're getting less than that, or you have very disturbed sleep, then you're gonna wanna get these supplements that we would recommend. And you're gonna wanna see what you can do to have better sleep hygiene. Again, I'm gonna have a separate video entitled sleep if you need that, which we'll talk about all about sleep and how you can improve it, guys. Okay, so this is it for the end of the prerequisites for your first coaching call. So hopefully you learned a lot and you took some notes and you have your questions ready so that we can adapt and modify and tailor this on your first coaching calls. After you finish that first coaching call, you are in the flow protocol. Your peptides will be uh, ordered after that first medical call with our provider. So maybe you have or have not already done your labs. You got to get your labs done and you got to have that provider call. And the orders don't really matter. Uh, we try to schedule the provider call for about four to five days after your labs, but sometimes people get the provider call a little early, a little late. Understand that we cannot order your peptides until both the provider call has happened and the lab results are in, which take about five days to get that second pancreatic enzyme marker in, because we want to ensure your pancreas is healthy and your call is done. We order the peptides. You will get a text message when our peptides are ordered, guys, which has a lot of instructions with it. And just so you know now, the estimated time of arrival after you get that text message will be about a week to a week and a half. All of that time is spent processing at the compounding pharmacy. So please refrain from asking us for the tracking information. The tracking information doesn't get provided or even created until the end of that process because the majority of that honestly is waiting in line at the pharmacy before they can process it because everybody's going so crazy over these medications right now. And then they process it, then they create the label and ship it and then they overnight it guys. So they will overnight you your products and they create the label and whatever email address you have on file with us is what we gave to them. And so 
in our initial text and email, we even gave you the email address that they're gonna send it from so that you can add it into your contacts and not miss that email. Unfortunately, they're gonna provide you that email the day of or the day before they ship it. So I know that kind of sucks. I, I've been trying to figure out a solution of maybe, but they, they, that's just how they do things, guys. So from the text message that you received, knowing that it was ordered, be on the lookout for your shipment because they're cold sensitive, guys. So it is on you if you are unable to receive that package or have somebody receive it and the peptides get degraded. The AOD is not temperature sensitive, but the trizepatide is, guys. So if you think you're gonna be out of town, or any potential issue, let us know at the time of order or the time of watching now, and we can either delay the shipment time or we can just have it shipped to the office so that you guys can pick up. Or you can have it shipped to the office and we can turn around and ship it for you. We don't mind doing that guys at all. So we're gonna work with you as much as we can, but you gotta understand that disclaimer that we're not responsible for damage or missing products. And so the next step is you are working with your coach you have their cell phone numbers. You probably already have it saved or you will on your first coaching call. So please reach out to us if you don't have that scheduled already. You are sent this form by your coach or you were enrolled by one of my employees who then set you up with the coach. So there is a chance that maybe that got missed. And so if you are watching this and you don't have a text introduction with your coach, then please reach out to the person who enrolled you and get a text introduction with your coach, save their cell phone number, and your coach is gonna be your primary contact moving forward in the program. You will get one phone call from my provider from a separate number and that's it. And the rest of your communication should be with the coach, guys. There is no reason at this point to be communicating with the call center which is those people that were texting you your appointment reminders. Now, whenever you set up an appointment with your coach, the coach does put that appointment in our calendar and the calendar automatically gives you appointment reminders to your benefit. And so I think people get confused. And so I'm just trying to help clarify that those appointment reminders come from the call center. So you could certainly text them and we appreciate that actually your coach would appreciate it if you text the call center to any changes in that appointment time. But anything outside of that, your coach, which you're gonna be on a text introduction if it wasn't the coach who enrolled you to begin with, save their number and save all your questions for them. Okay guys, so that's the end of this. And one more time, super, super important, you listen to the coaching call. Again, I'm gonna say it because it's this important. You are responsible for letting your coach know of any problems along the way. We don't do those regular coaching calls. So no news to us means you're happy, you're doing great. And so if you're not, if you're running into any issues or you're not getting that 1% of body weight loss per week, then make sure you reach out to your coach at the beginning of your, uh, really at any point, any point you can text your coach like we talked about in that video, nights and weekends, guys. We'll see you later.